Hello there, people of the internet, my friends everywhere. My name is Udur Jagero, and this is Dialogues with Jagero. The question that people have been asking me is, why did you start this podcast, Dialogues with Jagero? And uh, I do want to answer it myself, so I brought somebody else with me. Um, how are you, my friend? <laughs> yeah. I'm very fine. <laughs> I'm really, really fine. I'm doing well. I'm doing Good. Well. Um, why, why are you not having shoes, my friend? Uh, I, you know, I, I I thought that <laughs> you are actually having my shoes, by the way, man. Where did you get my shoes from? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go on with this thing. Uh, yeah. Why did you start Dialogues with Jagero? Uh, I started Dialogues with Jagero. I started Dialogues with Jagero because I've always wanted to hold very bold conversations conversations that uh, that change people conversations that get into conversations that are uh, that are that other people don't do you know so that is the reason why i decided that i want to bring in people you know if you look at the if you look at the internet or if you look at the tvs you realize that um, a lot of people the t you, there are things that you can't see on tv there are things that you can't mention so that is the reason why i decided you know Dialogues with Jigero should be bold, mm. should be awesome. Yeah. Well, there are so many people doing this kind of conversations in Kenya. I mean, big, bold conversations. What, what, what did you think was different that you're going to bring onto the table that's going to say, well, I think I'm looking at Dialogues with Jigero and something there is different, something is... Kuna kitu, kuna kitu wapo, you know? How, how did that come about? Like I like I said, there are things that you can't say on TV. Most of the most of the beautiful conversations that uh, I see are happening on TV, and there are things that you cannot say on TV. And I just realized that if we come to a community where we can talk about the things that really matter to us, whether you are cursing, whether you are saying I don't want to say this, you want to come and say it. You cannot have gay people on TV, and I want to have them on this show. Well, you know, in, in life, when you are starting something, perhaps there is there are people that you've looked at and you're saying, well, I really, really love the way they're doing this. Perhaps they are outside the country, they are, they are in, in the con in, on the continent, or just, you know, are there people that you've looked at and said, I want to have that kind of conversation. I want to be like this kind of person. I want to appear in, uh, on camera this way. Is there somebody like that? Uh, that's, 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 that's a very interesting uh, question because I consume a lot of YouTube content and I read a lot of long form and there are two people that actually that have always been uh, you know uh, there is the Penwell guy in South Africa who has been doing very very beautiful long bold conversation and then there is Joe Rogan who has now who is now who's bought off by from YouTube by Spotify by Spotify and now is exclusively on Spotify so looking at those guys I've always wondered can I have something closer in East Africa that is that bold that can go for long uninterrupted without you know people saying well that was long that was beautiful that was nice so podcast apparently is having the highest mortality rate in terms of creativity or creating content. I wonder uh, what are some of the things that you've learned uh, through this short period that you've been doing dialogues with Jagero? Of course, you have also done things like Money Monkey, you've done uh, Mascani podcast. So what have you learned about podcasting that, well, you can say this is something I've learned, this is the, these are the pain points. One of, one of the things that I've learned about, about, about doing a podcast is the sheer work that you have to put uh, in it. And uh, I, have, I, have, I have been like, why is it that the mortality rate of podcast is very, very, very high? And I realized that the reason why it is very, very high is because the sheer production part of it, you have to have the equipment, you have to have the videographers, you have to have the editors, you have to have everything that you know you need to have for you to produce this thing properly you have to have the guests too so that is also something that is very very difficult okay thank you very much for being a fantastic guest i really love the conversation so um i guess people are going to continue loving dialogues with jagero and we are looking out for more from dialogues with jagero uh all right ladies and gentlemen that was dialogues with jagero a very short interview with 
or do it Jaguero. I don't know whether you will call the other guy, but I hope you know. There are so many videos. Uh, if you just go there and click videos, you'll see so much that he has done. So uh, enjoy them. If you want to be a guest, you're welcome. If you want to ask a question, you can always ask that question. But we want you to love this and we want this to be a huge community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.